Hello again, here we are in Cormedia Studio, and today we're gonna to talk about the Customer Contact Cloud. Uh, that is one half of the new Engagement Cloud offering, with the other being our Marketing Automation Cloud. So the purpose of the Customer Contact Cloud is of course to help you engage with your visitors and customers. Uh, namely, we want you to be able to track visitors to your site, gather data around how they're interacting with your content, uh, what pages are they visiting, what products are they interested in, uh, and then ultimately give you the ability to connect with them directly with real people and in real time to convert them into loyal customers of your brand. So here we are starting off in the Core Media Studio as an editor or uh, a user within your brand. And we have activated the Engagement Cloud demo wheel and we can see these six uh, items a part of the customer journey uh, that we are taking uh, into consideration. So we're tracking our customers, we're qualifying them based on data we gather, uh, we're engaging with them via some of these marketing automation triggers, uh, which we're not talking about in today's session, and then we're converting them uh, with our cloud contact solutions. So this is the section we'll be focusing on today. And then lastly, we uh, use our marketing automation again with workflows to uh, attribute them and to nurture uh, that relationship so just to get us started, we'll look at a brand new visitor to our site uh, who's anonymous. We're only going to gather a few pieces of information, such as who's their ISP, uh, where are they viewing from in terms of their device, what's their location based off their uh, IP address, uh, and then their um, browser of choice, this being Chrome. Uh, and then you can see pages they visit here. We've only been on the main page. So we're going to go ahead and slip into the shoes of a visitor to our site and go through their journey uh, as they could traverse the site and ultimately want to um, talk to a live representative at uh, our brand for a little bit of help before they finish their transaction. So we'll jump over into uh, this. So we no longer have the demo wheel. We're just uh, seeing the site as a real visitor would see it. And in this case, I'm gonna be playing the role of myself and I'm shopping for a gift for my wife. So. This is going to help uh, the system gather some information about my interests, right? I've now shown that I'm interested in women's products, uh, but this doesn't tell them necessarily that I am a female shopper. Uh, and so you'll notice that when we go look at some of the customer uh, data, we've placed this customer into the female product interest group, uh, but we have not assigned a gender to them. Uh, and that's, of course, relevant because that's going to impact how we uh, interface with this customer as we talk to them. This is important information to have. So I know that my wife wants uh, a red jacket. She was eyeing this in a store. This looks really similar to that product. It's not the exact same one. Um, so I want to grab this for my wife. And I know that she's typically a size small, but I want to make sure that this uh, particular product is true to its size. So I'm going to add it to my cart for now because I know I'm interested in the product. Um, but I I don't see any kind of sizing guide on the site uh, or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a chat session and hopefully get some help. Uh, as we can see, we can go to start that chat and all I have to do is give them my name and my email address and go to start a chat. It will say I have a request and I will pop into the back office where I can now see that I have an incoming chat request from Chris. So I'm going to accept that and it starts with a um, default um, message. Hi, how can I help you get it started? And before we start the whole conversation, we'll take a look at some of the, uh, again, data that we've been able to gather just through um, this visitor, Chris's interactions with the site so far. So we've seen the pages they visited uh, going from the home page to the women's category to this product page. Under the e-commerce tab, I can see that they've added this to their cart. So I know that they're interested in buying this item. So uh, I'm just gonna ask, how can I help you to get things started? And this person's going to respond uh, with this message. I'm purchasing as a gift for my wife and I wanted to know if they run true to size. Um, so now the ball's back in our court as our customer uh, service representative. And that's a great question. So there's a couple different ways we could go about this. Uh, for one, maybe there is a, a sizing guide on the site that the person wasn't seeing. In that case, we could start a co-browsing session and we can see their browser and control their browser with their permission, of course, uh, to direct them to where that sizing guide is on the site. 
Uh, that's not the case today, but just to have it said, co-browsing is uh, one such option. You can also do a file transfer. So in this case, I know that I have a, a sizing guide uh, that I can send him. So uh, first I want to answer his question directly and say it does run true to size, but you can see this attached sizing guide. I can open up a file transfer session, select the window they're in. They're going to get uh, an option to accept it. I can go and add a file, um, in this case, gathering a sizing guide that I've prepared. <laughs> and then they will have the ability to download that guide and save it directly where they want. So that's just one way we can interface with the customer live in real time. I'm giving them a, do a, a file they can download to keep for themselves. Maybe there's a guide for different brands or different products. That's very good. So the customer's happy. They're going to say thank you. Then, of course, we don't want to end the conversation there. Um, we want to see if there's any other ways we can help them, of course, just to be courteous, but also take this as an opportunity to uh, upsell or show them other things they might be interested in. So I'm going to respond uh, with, of course, a way great, sorry, I did that in the wrong place, um, but say, what a great gift choice. I'm sure your wife will love it. Can I help you with anything else? Uh, and the shopper wanting to really go all out and impress uh, my lovely lady will say, do you have any recommendations of accessories to go with this jacket? Uh, and that is ex certainly something I can do. And that brings us to another way that the back office allows you to interface with these customers. I can extend this window and I see I have um, some recommended products that I can show him. So I'm going to say, sure, might I suggest um, this leather handbag and these white sneakers. And we're going to see here that we get to see some recommended products here. And I can open that page directly as the viewer of the site, go directly to those pages and add them to my basket. So now at the end of all of this, we've been able to gather more information on this product, nurture a relationship with them, uh, get them, you know, go above and beyond in terms of their initial uh, expectations. They came here to get this jacket and you also showed them two other great products that they can put along with that. And all of that was tracked as they add these items to their cart. That's all going to be tracked again in real time. This e-commerce tab will um, update uh, to see that they have the white sneakers uh, and so forth. So as we go to close this session, um, you know, we'll let them know, take care. We'll just uh, assume that they said thank you for these and they will go to um, finish the chat session. So they finish that. Now the um, representative within the company has the ability to go do some final post sale items. So we can say that there was a sale involved here, uh, what products they were able to grab. Um, we can classify them uh, and then add that data to our back end and keep that classified under the contacts uh, in our back office. So just a really quick run through of how the contact center allows you to interact with your customers in real time, provide that human touch uh, and make sure you're getting those conversions and ultimately selling more product. Uh, that's all today for to, uh, that's all for today's demonstration. Uh, thank you and uh, looking forward to the next session on Engagement Cloud.